Hi everyone, I'm Jed and this is Jed Makes Noise. And today we're making noise with some synthesizers, a drum machine sequencer, some cassette tape loops, and a vocal effects and loop pedal. And we're going to make some music inspired by Cold Wave, Industrial, and EBM. Check it out. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you so much for your support for my previous videos, especially the EBM tutorial video. That video has grown so much in views and really nice comments in the past few weeks. So thank you so much for engaging and joining this community of people who just want to make music with these great gadgets. I love learning how to use these instruments as I create with them. And I love the fact that I get to teach people as I go. So what spawned the idea of this track that I'm working on today was my vocal effects pedal. You can use it as a loop pedal. And I was just layering my voice layers upon layers on top of each other through distortion and reverb and creating some really strange loops. Then I realized that I could take those loops and bounce them down to a separate track on my Tascam cassette recorder creating lots of different interesting textures. Let me explain. Okay, so let me demonstrate this process. So we've got the VE20 vocal processor. At the moment, I've got some delay. Hello. And a little bit of reverb on my vocals. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to add some distortion. So we go to the tone settings, we turn it on. Check, check, hey. We, we want it to be on distortion. Hey, yeah. That's a little bit too gritty, so I'm going to just reduce the tone so it's not too, too high end. Check, hey, yeah. And that's pretty ratty. We might just bring the drive down. Hey, yeah, 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 hey. Urgh. Cool, so we've got a real gross sort of Real industrial vocal tone. Now we can use the phrase loop. So I'm just gonna make something up here and then I'll show you what I've got recorded on these three other channels. Now I'm gonna record on top of that. If I hit this button, I lose that loop forever. But if I want to keep that loop and then create more and more on top of each other, see this output lead is in the fourth track of the Tascam cassette recorder. And I'm going to record that loop onto the cassette here. So let's record. <laughs> Okay, so that should be enough. Now we change the input mode into tape. So it's gonna play what we've just recorded onto the tape. Let's see what we've got. So that's pretty cool. And we can use the pitch control to change the pitch of it. And we can also alter the high and low of the EQ. Now, one of the commenters on one of my other videos mentioned that if you don't like that little jump in the tape where the pieces of tape have been stuck together, you can get around that by using the effects send and putting a reverb or delay pedal into the effects send. So that's what I've done here. This is just a 
Mua Reecho. It's a real cheap and nasty delay pedal that I'm borrowing off a friend. Effect one send goes into the pedal and then out of the pedal back into the five six. And all I need to do is increase this effect one knob and it's going to give the loop a little bit of an echo. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. I can alter the delay time over here too. So it becomes a real fun sort of manipulation of these two pieces of gear. That was a recreation of what I've got over on this channel. And I've got a different texture here of me going psh, 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 trying to get some more high end sort of textures. Sounds like a bunch of little kids playing lasers. Pew, pew, pew. And on channel three, I've got a loop of where I changed the pitch of my voice to be up quite high and I'm sort of singing a high melody. So there you have it. It's a really great way of creating lots of different textures. And then within a composition, you can just play each of these and change the pitch of them all. So that's that element of the composition. Let's see what the other instruments are doing. The Analog 4 is providing kick drum, snare drum, some hi-hats, and it's also providing a bass line. The kick drum is doing this. The snare drum. The hi-hats. And track four is doing a very specific bass line that I created with sort of EBM in mind. I can use the performance mode. to increase the envelope filter. And again, I'm using a very sinister sounding bass line and I'm using very short and sharp staccato bass notes. My CV track has a very particular sequence mapped out on here and my CV outs are running into my CV in and gate in of my Roland SH-101. So let's go see what it's doing. So we've got a short, sharp sound on the Roland SH-101. And we're going to run it through this pink boss delay from the early 80s. Now here are the CV out leads of the Electron Analog 4. So CV in and gate. Now the Analog 4 sequence that I was just mapping out, it should come through here now. So again, using a very sinister sort of riff. Let's bring in the drums and the bass.
And I can alter these. And finally, again, I just wanted something extra to do some high string lines and the microcorg was here. I know there's a lot of hate for the microcorgs on the internet right now, but you know what? I love this thing. It's just small and this it sounds fine. It's here, it's cheap, and when I'm trying to make the Polymoog Vox Humana preset that Gary Newman used on cars, uh, I don't want to buy a Polymoog that's years old and is probably going to break all the time. So I want to save my money and just use something that's relatively cheap. So I guess that makes me the devil. So. So we're talking about just some real simple string lines on the top of the composition, like this. Simple yet effective. So those are all the elements of this track today and I'm going to have a little bit of a jam on them and I'm also going to record a vocal performance of some quick lyrics that I just wrote today. I'll see you on the other side.
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this track I've created today, and perhaps I'll release it sometime soon under a new musical project I'm working on. But for now, hit that like button, please consider subscribing, and if you'd like to support me further, head on over to my Patreon page, that's patreon.com slash jedmakesnoise. Thanks for your support, I'll see you next time.